This special report is being brought to you by... Strong weather in Middle Tennessee has caused thousands of dollars in damages. When your roof is damaged, don't mess around with it. Call a professional. Jewel Roofing and Gutters. Yeah. Jewel Roofing has been the recipient of the Seal of Satisfaction Award for Roofing for the past six years. So don't get caught out in the cold like this little fella. After all, your property is one of your top investments. So leave it in the hands of a professional. Jewel Roofing and Gutters. See a link to our Facebook page below this video. 200 Hamlet. Residence 200 Hamlet. Someone step out on the front porch. And that's how it went for several hours Thursday night in White House at the intersection of Kennedy Drive and Hamlet while police waited for a suspect to exit a home. Now, Smokey received many calls from neighbors, people living in the area that actually couldn't get to their homes. And they were wondering, of course, what the heck was going on. Uh, one neighbor called us to say that they thought a tank had just driven by their house. Uh, we said, well, that was actually an RV and it contained a SWAT team that was uh, brought there to uh, make a sweep of the home. According to Captain Jim Ring, of the White House Police Department, it all started with an altercation between a couple of neighbors. According to Captain Ring, at some point, one of the neighbors pulled out a gun and shot it at the ground. Then that neighbor went in the house and didn't want to come out. Unfortunately, Kennedy is a bit of an artery to that neighborhood back there, and there were some neighbors that just were not ever able to make it home until the mess was finally cleaned up, which didn't occur for several hours. Uh, some of them just waited up at uh, Highway 76 on Kennedy and just waited until all the lights went away so they could finally get to their homes. It was definitely a change of pace for the otherwise normally peaceful neighborhood there in White House. A numerous residents expressed to us that uh, they were shocked at the number of officers with their guns drawn, of course, all the cars there and uh, the paging for the suspect to surrender and then what looked like a tank pulls up with a SWAT team inside it was all very exciting but uh, officers have a very specific protocol they follow under these kinds of circumstances and it is designed to keep everyone safe and alive so when there are weapons involved you just never know what things can escalate to but uh, I think they all did a fantastic job at uh, uh, preventing the situation from escalating into something that could have been far worse. Now, the entire standoff lasted about two hours. The initial call came into 911 at just a little before 4 p.m. and it wasn't until a little after 6 p.m. that the suspect finally surrendered to police. Now, one of the reasons the SWAT team was called in is they weren't really sure how many people were in the home uh, additionally, another individual was escorted out of the home by police. It was a woman. Uh, we were told that she was in her 80s, and a neighbor indicated that uh, she was the young man's mother. Uh, we did watch as police uh, gingerly escorted her from the home. We chose not to put her on camera, but we could tell that uh, she hadn't suffered uh, any uh, physical injury that we could see. Um, perhaps a little shaken up as a result of all the officers and lights and everything, but uh, otherwise in fine shape. After the suspect was taken into custody, uh, we believe he was taken to the Robertson County Detention Facility in Springfield. As soon as we have any information on uh, what, if any, charges he's facing, we'll let you know. Uh, at any rate, uh, this has been uh, Jim Ball reporting for Smokey Barn News in Springfield. When you're going over the vast array of flooring options available today, why not consider a company that's been doing floors since the early 1900s? That's right, I'm talking about the Flooring Center. They're located at 505 Memorial Boulevard in Springfield, and the minute you walk in the door, you'll know things are different. One thing you'll notice right away, whether you're talking to an installer or you're talking to a salesman on the floor, everyone knows a lot about floors at the Flooring Center. So whether it's hardwood or tile, if you're looking for price, quality and service, then you're looking for the Flooring Center, formerly the Furniture Center. For more great flooring ideas, see a link to their Facebook page below this video.